Before we proceed, in my inventory, I accidentally took an extra oak log when I should have brought a willow log. Don't make the same mistake I did. Make sure to bring all your items because it is quite a distance from the bank. Before we start, you're going to need 52 kilograms of sandstone. The easiest option would be to bring five individual 10 kilogram stones and a single 2 kilogram stone. To begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Speak to Lazim, accept the quest, then choose a second chat option. Use a sandstone on him, then choose a first chat option for all the prompts. You will receive an oddly shaped sandstone. Go ahead and left click to craft it. Then use it on the flat ground. Speak to him again and choose the second chat option. Speak to him again and once again choose the first chat option for all the prompts. You will receive an oddly shaped sandstone once again, craft it, then use it on the statue. Speak to Lazim once again. Then start chiseling the entire statue. Speak to Lazim once again and choose the fourth chat option. Now go ahead and craft the granite that you brought, the two individual 5 kilograms. Right click, craft, click 1, then 4 for the camel head. Then use the camel head on the statue. Piculazim. A short cutscene will now start. Once inside, speak to Lazim. Speak to him again and choose a second chat option. Now right beside you, you'll find the fallen statue. Go ahead and search it four times. Choose the first chat option for all the prompts. You should have four carved parts from the statue. Go ahead and take the sigil from nearby pedestal with the letter M. Now this entire area is just one big loop, so you're gonna have to go all in a circle. So I just started north and went counterclockwise. There will be a lot of cutscenes, so just sit back and relax for now. For every cutscene, make sure to head to the center and pick up the letter on the pedestal, then continue to the next door. Now here on screen, I'm on the south side, and as you gather the letters, you're going to have to go ahead and use those letters on a specific door in the center. As you can see here, I used the Z. So after you've done the loop, go ahead and enter inside one of them. Then add the letters to the door from the inside as I'm doing here on screen. 
That way you don't have to do the entire long loop. Once you place all the letters, head up the stairs. Use your clay on the camel pedestal. Craft your secondary granite and choose the first shot option. Go ahead and use that stone hand you just crafted into the pedestal. Go ahead and speak to Lazim. Before we proceed, it is completely optional, but you could use your secondary clay on the pedestal to obtain a mask. This is completely cosmetic. You'll now have to solve four short puzzles. I will start with the northwest one. Speak to the NPC in the room, then carefully right click the food you brought and use it on him. Then choose the fourth chat option. Next in the northeast room, simply click on the furnace to clear it. Next head to the eastern room. Go ahead and inspect every brazier to know what item to use on it. In the event that you teleport out or you forgot an item like I did, head back to where you started the quest and you will see another entrance. That's how you get back. And lastly for the western room, Make sure you're wielding a magic weapon and you have a fire spell equipped. Then use it on the fountain. You'll now be able to pass through the magical barrier in the center of the room. Pass through, then climb up the ladder. Speak to Lazim. Then climb over the pile of bones south. Climb on the ladder and speak to the bone guard. Choose the second, then the fourth chat option. Pick up three sandstones from the rock pile nearby, then use it on the wall. Then inspect it and use the chisel option. You will have to do this several times, use a sandstone, then chisel it until the wall is complete. Once complete, speak to the bone guard. Quest complete. 